Hello everyone, Nash Rathbone here again. The other month I was going through everydaycarry.com, uh, one of my favourite uh, EDC sites, and they were publicising the titanium pocket bit. And I thought to myself, well, I've seen that somewhere else. So I crossed straight over to Gearbest, and after a little few moments of perusing I came across this. This is by Fura and it is a clone of the uh, titanium pocket bit. This is not titanium though, this is what they call um, high carbon steel so I'd imagine it's stainless possibly. Um, it cost me about £1.48 but as of uh, today's date uh, Gearbest have got a flash sale on this and it is uh, currently going for £1.35 or $1.69. Anyway, let's get it out of the two bags that it's in and we'll have a look at it, shall we? Right, there's one bag then. And the second bag. And out it comes. As you can see, the kit contains a small double-ended uh, screwdriver bit with a hole in the middle and a little keyring for it to go on. Um, before we put it on the keyring, we've all seen what a keyring looks like, let's take a closer look at this little fellow, shall we? Well, as you can see, it's pretty exciting. It's a double-ended screwdriver bit with a hole in the middle. So, really, that concludes the close-up then. Here we go with some dimensions. It is 25 millimeters long and six millimeters in diameter. And here we have a size comparison with two equivalent six mil driver bits. And how much does this little thing weigh then? Three grams, blimey. And with its key ring, six grams. Further size comparisons. Here is a uh, number one Phillips driver and an equivalent flat bladed driver. So look how much bigger they are. Anyway, I think what we better do is uh, get this mounted onto its key ring and then we'll take it down to the workshop and see exactly what it can do. Okay then, that's what we can do. So we can get it onto the key ring. Um, the original manufacturer makes quite a few claims for this little fellow, including uh, open packaging, bottles of drink, um, all sorts of things. Um, speaking of uh, opening packaging, let's get some cardboard over here. There's some cardboard. Let's have a look. You obviously use the, the flat driver section of it. Well, yeah, I guess you could actually open packaging with it. So, yeah, we can do that with it. Um, the other thing, as I say, is I've put screws in. Um, they say you can open bottles with it, but I, I don't know about that. I think you're supposed to use the, uh, the flat side of things to get in there and open the bottle with. Um, they can open cans of paint. I'll tell you what we'll do. As I said, we'll get this down to the workshop right now and we'll give it some of those claims a bit of a go, shall we, guys? Okay, guys, so here we are in a fairly cold workshop then. And we'll begin with this pot of paint. See if we can get into it, shall we, guys? Well, this particular can is appearing to have none of it. Let's have a look. Oh, we've done it. There we go. Ah, 
Well, it's a bit painful on the old fingers though. Look at that. And you can actually see the outline of the uh, Phillips bit in my thumb. All right, so opening the tin of paint didn't damage the uh, driver bit in any way by the looks of things. So let's get on with some screws, shall we? And I'm going to be trying these four different size screws. You've got two uh, different size slots and two different size Phillips. This one's quite a large one actually. Let's give them a go. And we'll start with the smallest of the slotted screws. Make a little hole just here. Pop it in. Just support it a little bit. Hang on so you can see. Get it in there. And, yep, okay, look at this, um, yes, it's definitely driving it in there, right, it's getting a bit harder as you get um, further into the wood, but I think that's a fairly good demonstration. It's not as bad as I thought it would be actually. Okay, that's the small one done. Let's get the uh, larger one on the go, shall we? Pop it in there. That's quite a large one, this one. This could be um, a bit harder to do. We'll soon find out. Just use the uh, the key ring itself for the leverage. Oh, slipped out a bit there. Yes, things are tightening up a little bit now. Now it's getting difficult, this big one. <laughs> yes, a little bit more effort required here, guys. But it's still going. Oh, blimey. Falling down the hole in the, uh, well, falling down this little gap in the keyring there. Let's get, try to get up to the top. But it's very, um, I wonder if it would be easier Ugh. with a set of keys on there. Hang on, where's my magic screwdriver? Ah, oh, here it is. Superb! Right, let's try it with some uh, keys on, shall we? See if it's any easier to uh, manipulate. Um, well, not so far. This is a big screw, though. I think, uh, yes, I think this one's... Um, uh, God, blimey! I'll tell you what, let's try um, small Phillips, shall we? Get the keys out of the way, pop it in the hole, some support, see if it's any easier with this one. Well, apart from the uh, keys digging into your hand, there we go. Seems to be going down alright, doesn't it, guys? Well, it's beginning to tighten up there quite nicely now. It's getting a bit hard. There we go. Of course, it's not helped by this, uh, this long screw sticking out in the way. Alright, so let's try the larger of the uh, Phillips screws, shall we? Let's have a look. Where are we? Yep. 
going in. And I don't think the keys are helping too much either, to be honest with you. I think it's all down to using the uh, the key ring to apply torque like that. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but I'm using holding it like this. It's um, a bit painful, to say the least. Ouch! Oh, blimey! Right, okay. That's fairly successful. Look, it's done to me thumb again. Look, you see that? Let's have a closer look. There we are. You can see that. Look. There we go. Keyring digging into me skin. Look. Ugh. All right. So it's uh, fairly decent at putting screws in as well. Then. Um, we've seen it'll take the lid off a tin can, put some screws in. Um, yeah, what what damage has uh, occurred to the uh, driver tip though? Shall we have a closer look at that? Well, I can see no damage to the uh, the Phillips bit. Flip it over, and also no damage to the flat driver. So it's quite a tough little blighter then. Right, just before we go back to the studio then, the old magic screwdriver again. Fantastic. Okay, let's get back to the studio then guys. All right, so here we are back from the workshop. What we'll do is we'll uh, extract it from its key ring and we'll see what damage has occurred to it, shall we, while we're out there. Um, the key ring is rather, uh, as you can see, a cheap bit of a key ring. Let's have a closer look at that, shall we? Well, for a start, we can see it's been sprung open. It's uh, not the best key ring in the world, obviously. What about uh, other damage to it? Let's have a look if you can focus it. Yes, there are quite a few uh, indentations. Look the other side. Oh yeah, look at that. It's pretty bad. And what about the bit itself? Well, no damage whatsoever. As I said in the workshop, it's a tough little blighter, isn't it? Not a scratch or a mark anywhere. Hmm. That's good. Yep, for something so cheap. Tough as old boots then. So, there we have it guys. The Fura flat cross screwdriver that I picked up from Gearbest. As I said, it only cost me uh, £1.48 I believe. Um, it's currently on a flash sale for £1.35 or $1.69. You can get it in the silver like I've got it. It's also available in black. Um, so what do you think then guys? Uh, it's quite a small little thing to um, carry around on your key ring just in case you know you need a screwdriver and as you've seen it can actually um, put some screws in fairly, fairly seriously. So it's not too bad. The only thing is, as I say, you using the uh, key ring, it can hurt your fingers a little bit. It did mine. They're not they're not too bad now, but um, it did make them sore a little bit. Um, as I say, it consists of a number one Phillips driver, a number one flat driver. Um, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video, guys. Um, don't forget, if you haven't done so already, you can subscribe. You can click like. And you can also follow me on Instagram, which is where I post up all the uh, new kit that I get in as soon as I get it. So you can pop along there and have a look. And what I'll do is I'll um, I'll put a Gearbest link in the description below. Um, if you purchase it from that link, I will get a small commission, which I shall plow straight back into my channel to buy more kit for you to look at. Um, in the description below, I shall also put links to everydaycarry.com and the original manufacturer of this thing. We'll, we'll, I'll put their link in as well for you to have a look, so you can go along and have a look. 
All right then, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for standing out in the cold workshop with me while we uh, tried it out. And um, I will see you again right back here at Rathbone Manor in the very near future, I'm sure. Okay then, guys. Bye. And we'll start with the smallest of the slotted screwdrivers. Screw there. Uh,